I was inside of the party and I just, I ran outside literally and just beelined him and started making out and didn't look at any surroundings around him at all. And there were so many people with cameras. So they took incredible photographs like <laughs> right. this one. So what we're going to do is, if you don't mind, I've screenshotted five of your Instagram photos that I thought were particularly <laughs> hilarious. Oh and I want to get you, we're going to do a little explain that gram. You should see the cool. ones in my camera roll. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, all yeah. right, so this one. <laughs> so this is uh, this is the one, is that Lamar Odom, right? Yeah, I'm not yeah. going to lie to you. I do think this is one of the funniest photos on my Instagram. Not to suck my own dick, but um, <laughs> I, I love this photo. Um, how did this happen? What's this? What's the scene here? To be honest, how, did, why, like, how were you making out in front of Lamar Odom like that? Did you know he was there? I didn't know he was there. Fun fact. Um, but cool I actually do love Lamar. I've had some crazy psychic moments with him. I, I owe everyone a whole story time about my encounters with Lamar Odom at some point. Mm -hmm. Shout out Lamar. Um, but in this particular moment, I didn't know that he was there. And um, Jake was throwing this party, mm -hmm. and we were like matching, and that was our first like debut moment as like. Jana, whatever you want to call it. And um, he was outside doing like press for a bunch of shit and he texted me jokingly like, hey, want to make out? And Jake and I are very much both like crazy. And so I was inside of the party and I just, I ran outside literally and just beelined him and started making out and didn't look at any surroundings around him at all. And there were so many people with cameras so they took incredible photographs like <laughs> they, this one they really got it all and right when i woke up the next day to that photo not really remembering it happening i was like that's it's beautiful it's going straight to my instagram i love it okay. all right next one james charles and you at coachella this one is like sister innocent honestly um not as crazy of a story i think I, which i don't even know which weekend this was i think it was weekend two i believe of Coachella, um, and I just ran into James. He was with his whole squad. I was with my whole squad. We had a quick sister photo shoot in VIP, of course. Mm -hmm. No, I'm kidding. Um, yeah. You know, you wear a VIP, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, yeah but <laughs> facetiously, of course, I'm talking about that. Sure. GA is honestly more fun, but, you know, sure. James is a bougie sister. Uh, another um, another Coachella one, you and Kylie Jenner. Coachella was a crazy little Do you know, six you, days. How, was that a... Uh, quick was Kylie that a, moment, James yeah. photo breakup. Yeah, <laughs> a lot happened at Coachella. Throw it all in there. <laughs> um, Coachella makes or breaks relationships. Yeah. Uh, she was just... We were walking into artists at the same time, and she was just behind me, and look at her. Look at that fucking Dior bucket hat, perfectly beat face. You know, I woke up like this. I'm just going to pop into Coachella glam that she has going on. Little denim jacket. I just, I had to, I had to snap a pic. Yeah, yep, And I'm highly trash. She's a and sweetheart. She's so fucking sweet. And the way she loves her fans too is another reason why I love her so much. Cause I, I love Kylie. I love her style. I think she's super dope. I'm as you can tell by the lip filler currently injected into my face um, I love her um, and I, you know she's great but the, the way she is to her fans makes it a new level for me because you can love someone as much as possible but you find out they're an asshole to the people that sure. make them who they are it kind of yeah demeans it a little so right. for her to stop and take a photo and fuck with me and you know I don't know what Kylie knows about me or anything like that so I'm not gonna yep. get into that but yeah just a, a dope Coachella moment nice. for sure that I All have right. documented so this is a screenshot but this is you and Gigi Gorgeous Two. What? You guys are nuts! It hurt! It wasn't that bad! <laughs> yeah, no shit! Alright, wait, what? Where did I think, that idea come from? I think from? I still have a scar, actually. I'm not even gonna How did that idea. come about? Um, Gigi is one of the few people that is, like, just as crazy as me. And I, what's funny is Gigi's another one like Shane where I was like 14 watching her like story time type of videos being like, I want to tell a crazy story. Like she was always someone who really inspired me and just how like fearlessly, authentically she is herself is always something that is just like, it resonates like at home with me. I think it's like the most beautiful thing on earth. So I've always really looked up to Gigi. I remember the first time I saw her at like a beauty con, I literally stopped her and was just like, I love your shoes. And she was so nice to me and it was, she's so great. Um. So yeah, we were at a party. Uh, we were bonding over our like blood sister moment and how mm. much we love each other. And we decided to take it a level further by burning each other. She was snapped that your too. Idea or oh, I don't remember. I think, I think I was saying how we're like blood sisters and we need to do something to like solidify that. We were debating on pricking our fingers with blood and like mm -hmm. going like this, but also like that's really stupid yeah. if anyone has any anything. Um, I think Gigi might have pitched it, but she snapped. She burned my hand. I went like light because I love her, and I. <laughs> she went for it. She's a savage. Jeez, yeah, I know you were I a little anything, taken back by it. I respected her more in that moment because I was like, "That's what I should have done." <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, and then last, lastly, this is you sort of worshiping Billie Eilish. 
How did that come about? Oh, my God. Her brother liked a tweet that I was mentioned in today, and I had a full-blown mental breakdown in the car right here for no reason. I worship them. I think Billy and her brother Phineas are, like, the most talented young people in this whole industry right yeah. now. And I think, again, everyone I'm, I really idolize is our people like her, like Miley Cyrus, you know, that are very candidly... They talk about everything going on mm. the way Billy will literally come on an interview for like fucking Vanity Fair and be like, yo, I'm depressed. I said it. Yeah. No other artist is doing that. And to be doing that at 16, to be talking about things like mental health, to be just, and to be so talented and so dope. And the way she's even just like taking gender roles out of fashion for like the young people in mm-hmm. a way and the amount of. She's just wearing shorts. Like yeah, just, and doing just... whatever the fuck she wants is so cool. And she, so many layers of that. She's mm-hmm. always just the coolest and then Billy could also be like an elusive asshole and she's I've never seen someone love their fans as much I like Mm -hmm. to think that I'm like queen of loving my fans but (laughs) Billy the way she treats her fans is like you just look at her and you're like what's wrong with you yeah like you're like a robot I I was I interviewed her a little while ago at the out radio I wasn't expecting I was I I was there I saw her we breathed the same air I had the same thoughts as you I was like um, I'm thinking cool she's going to just walk straight up the red carpet and give you like a mean mug but no but she just like she just popped along and chatted to everyone and And yeah I had a great little interview with her you look at her and she's dripped in chains and crazy shit and dark and (laughs) and then she's the sweetest person and Mm. it's like this you know double entendre almost and she's just always been so nice to me like the second she found out I was a fan she always has just been like so kind and invited me to shit and you know like reached out to see if I was okay if I mention her in a video to this day she'll message me and be like that was so sweet like love you so much wow, and I'm nice. like you are Billy fucking Eilish get the fuck out of my DMs yeah. you have so many fucking better things <laughs> you to have do no business yeah. yeah it's exactly so I just I love her and that was so special too she just finished like a 40 show tour in LA and everyone's up her ass in this tiny backstage room and she like stopped to be like Tana let's let's take a photo like I fucking love you are you okay how are you yeah. even that to ask people if they're okay and be real and I don't know super sweet Billy Billy Eilish Billy approved Billy, Billy. took it off and I was about to say like Tana like <laughs> what do you think um how, you know why do you think you cut through the noise but instead I'm just gonna get Jordan your manager to jump on and I have Jordan's you, in this interview Tana. yeah he's coming on no fucking there. way he is now all right Oh my god, my heart's there, racing. Huh? I don't even know if we can sit next to each other. All right, so... Hey, good to see you. Good to see you. Yeah, yeah, hey, it's good to see you. How nah, you doing? So, guys, instead of, instead of <laughs> me being like, Whoa! Hey, like, why do you think uh, Why do you think you cut through the noise? Why do you think your channel took off? Why do you think you are where you're at right <laughs> so now? I just thought I'd just bring in... I just thought I'd bring in the manager and just say... So, you said you've been working with Tana for about five years. Yeah. yeah so, what yeah. made you so confident to sign with her? Well, I think... There's, I mean, there's a lot of it's so ways hard to answer that. The, the first, the first thing is, is that she has like the it factor. She has an it factor, which like a lot of people don't have. Mm-hmm. And it's hard for me to say this in front of her, especially when she's making faces. I'm gonna make a face in the moment we record this. <laughs> respect, but I mean, she has an it factor, mm-hmm. and and it's it was easy to tell in the very beginning. And I think that there's a few reasons why people watch YouTube, and why they follow an influencer. And it's usually. Um, you know, aspirational. Like that? they wanna, they wanna be that person. They wanna be or completely entertained, um, or they want, they like the content that they make, mm-hmm. um, and uh, like they just feel like it's, it's relatable. <laughs> so <laughs> relatability, um, aspirational, and uh, entertainment factor. Right. And I think Tana has all three of those qualities. Um, so she kind of makes it easy. Like the the hard part for a manager is to get the attention, right? Um, and once the client has attention, then you can kind of manipulate that and see how far you can build it. Um, but building the content and getting people to watch and creating a, a hardcore knit uh, fan base is the hard part. And Tana was doing that from day one. Mm-hmm. I mean, literally from her first video. Yeah, is that something that you feel like it's always come easy to you, Tana, just to, just to I create? Just, I just want to put this on the fucking record, heard while watch <laughs> viewers. You, I've never seen this in my entire career. <laughs> So that was beautiful. Thank you so much for it. It really is just truth. I'm not gonna um, compliment you if, if you don't need it. It's just it's just facts. Um, has that always been easy for me? I, I mean, good. I guess, I guess I have always been obsessed with YouTube, <clears throat> you know, and that's where that comes from. There's so many people wanting to make content and they want to make it, and I always I meet little kids and I'm like, what do you want to be when you grow up? And they're like a YouTuber, and it's like, why? And they're like, cause they're rich. And I'm like, figure your shit out, cause that's <laughs> not it. Um, you have to kind of love it and love the content and be passionate about it. And I've always kind of been like that. So mm-hmm. when something's like new and trendy, I'm like excited to get my hands on it. You know, like it's it's that kind of stuff. And finding your own 
paths and shit is sick. And but Jordan also, I I just want to say, is so much more than like a manager. It's crazy. Like literally, I was 15 years old. I like raised myself. My parents shout out them, but you know they did they did not do the raisin. Jordan literally pulled me in and like raised me and like mm -hmm. taught me the right morals and how to act and how to go about. And we're life still learning and, every day. Yeah, every fucking day. <laughs> yeah. It's every day, bro. Um, <laughs> and really though, he's he's like taught me everything I know and. I, every part of me too that's like business savvy and all these little like business savvy things that I'm saying I'm just like it, I've learned by like mimicking him in a way you yeah. know so him doing that also and never giving up on me and all the moments where so many other managers would have easily given up is crazy you know and then it's also like he makes me racks in the bank so it's all <laughs> beautiful <laughs> and do you to, Tana talking about um, you know so obviously yeah I, I've heard I've, I've seen your videos to, I guess describing the, the hardship you went through as, as a kid and you know Facts. literally walking into high school and then unenrolling yourself I didn't know that was a thing um, <laughs> it is in Las Vegas then, everybody go do it I'm yeah really so you unenrolled no, yourself in high school you um, obviously didn't feel like you were in kids. Yeah, you weren't in a safe environment, and you, yeah. it was almost... Did you feel like you had your back against the wall with YouTube and were like, I have to make this work because I don't have too much to fall back on? In a way, I guess, but if anything, it was more so like everything around me was falling apart and it was kind of like my outlet. That was the one place where I felt like happiness or passion, mm -hmm. even. That was a big thing for me is really up until that point in my life, there was nothing I'd ever really felt passionate about until YouTube. I really felt like I was like at rock bottom of like, I'm never going to find anything I'm passionate about. Mm -hmm. And then it, I kind of woke up one day and was like, what do you spend all your free time doing? What do you spend every second thinking about? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like the comma part of it. Yeah. So it wasn't really that it was like my back's against the wall. I have to make money on YouTube. I have to whatever. It wasn't really about that. It was really that I just like got lucky doing something that I love. Mm -hmm. If anything, I was just taking more shifts at like PacSun. Yep. trying to like make money to move out because my parents were crazy but <laughs> yeah <laughs> all right and jordan aside from uh so aside from punctuality being mm -hmm. probably your least favorite quality oh 100 uh, <laughs> no question yeah. what's your favorite quality of <laughs> holy shit um, i love this interview <laughs> Well, you know, I think as I was listening... You, I mean, you manage a lot of people. Yeah, what, yeah. What, what, when, when, you, when an email about Tana comes up or whatever, or you've got to go out to someone like this, what, what's one thing you're like, fuck yeah, like, I know I can yeah. rely on Tana for that. Well, there's, there's one thing that I think of that all, all the major creators in this space have, have had. It's been like, you know, nine, ten years of this. And the people who have lasted have been the people who love making content. They love making their own videos. They love he editing their videos. He asked your favorite trait about I'm yeah, getting yeah, to it. No, I'm getting to it. I'm getting to it. Uh, and they continuously reinvent themselves. Yep. Um, and they're hungry. Like those three attributes are, are I think the, the reason that people are successful. I mean, I think Shane Dawson, he's still making content, still mm -hmm. editing himself. Yep. Um, loves making it, loves reinventing. David Dobrik loves making his videos, loves creating. And Tana does too. Yeah. Um, so the fact that she wants to do those things and continue to be successful um, without stopping is the reason. I mean, I think it's like, I'm a huge sports fan, mm -hmm. so I use the reference like, leave it all on the field yeah. or the court or whatever. Yeah. And that's, that's the or mentality. Or in the gym, as the rough yeah. says. Yeah, <laughs> in the gym. Uh, we don't go there very often. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, I mean, that's it. We want to, that's, that's my favorite aspect is the fact that I think we both see eye to eye. We don't know how long this is going to last. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it's 10, 20 for, for the rest of our lives, mm -hmm. but, um, we're going to leave it all on the field. And that's, nice. I think that's my favorite aspect. Amazing. All right, man. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Uh, I'll see you later. On. <laughs> <laughs> we just missed that. We're two white guys. It's not our... Uh, yeah, being beautiful. cool is an hour. Uh, yeah, good. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys. Oh, my God. Nah, I got, all right, Thank I got, you, Jordan. Staying, uh, uh, thanks, man. Appreciate it. And staying on the... Uh, just, Jordan, I got one more question. Jordan, live on the air. Was yeah, incredible. you like Thank that? We're good. filming all of this. For yeah, that no experience. Worries. I know I'm going to take the SD card on my way out, actually. Just Cool. Just invoice me later for that. You know, we set this up before. Cash app? Yes. All right, we're going to do, I think we have time for a couple of fan questions. Woohoo! Yes, these were submitted before and during the stream. Thank you. Oh my God, I'm scared. All right, we got, Why are you such a dumb bitch? We got, yeah, that is actually the best one. Uh, we got six of them. Uh, when are you going on tour? Woohoo! The camera's all panned to Jordan. Uh, no, but we, we really want to make this tour special and perfect. I say this tour because obviously I love touring. I definitely intend on going on another tour and hopefully this year. I think this year. I'm assuming this year. I'm like, this year? We're doing, we're doing dates no matter what this year, for sure. Facts! Yeah. Um, so yeah, we just like, I don't know. I really, for me with tour, I don't want to go on the same tour uh -huh. six times. Yeah. I don't want to go on the same tour ever. I want every tour to be so different from the last that it makes the people who went to the first one want to buy tickets to the sixth one, yeah, you know? for sure. So we're working on music right now. 
I would ideally like to have out a lot more music before tour, so we're pushing out a lot of that, mm -hmm. going to the studio, perfecting music, working with some new people, and all kinds of exciting stuff. And yeah, just just making sure everything is perfect—the meet and greets, the venues, mm -hmm. how I'm getting the fuck around, you know, all that. So yep. as soon as everything's good, I will be on Twitter, not shutting the fuck up about it. So yep. thank perfect. you guys you, for you will know. All right, uh, you to second <laughs> fan question, and thank you to everyone who uh, submitted your questions. We really appreciate it. Yeah, shout out you guys. Um, where care. where does she see herself? Where does she see her career in two to three years? Stripper, cam girl. No, uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, I don't really know. Uh, I am really bad about living like day by day and mm -hmm. obviously we've set a lot of plans for like financial shit or whatever don't worry about me but I don't know I love a lot of things I'm obsessed with social media marketing I I do love the idea of potentially managing and looking out for and even mentoring up and coming creators mm -hmm. because if I could save someone from all of the terrible fucked up shit that I've been through and guide them in ways that I wish I would have had someone to guide me you know mm -hmm. I would love that I also love writing. I could see myself writing music for people, writing shows, writing scripts, writing anything, literally. Mm -hmm. Books. Just being creative by the time. Yeah, so, you know, maybe one of those three avenues. But also, like, if you would have asked me a year ago if I was going to be a reality star right now, I would have, again, laughed in your face. So yeah. I feel like life is always curve throwing me curveballs, you know? So I don't really know sure, what I'll be doing. Sure. I'm going to take it day by day. All right, all right. Um, uh, more kids joining the Paul family. <laughs> yeah, right now. No, um, um, I don't know. Jake just got a little new puppy, Lil Moo. He's very cute. He's about to be the size of a fucking bear, and yep. taking care of him is already really hard. Um, I don't, I don't think we need any more kids right yep. now. The Titus and Riot are fake rogue children, as Logan Paul calls them. Um, we love you. <laughs> wow, nice. All right. Um, who is the most man? Uh, sorry, who is the most random celebrity in your contacts in your phone? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> you don't want that. I don't even random. Everyone in my contacts is so fucking random. You know what I think is really random? It's not the juicy tea that any of you want, but if I was letting you know, you know, what rapper's trying to fuck me right now, that wouldn't, you know, that's a YouTube video. <laughs> For me, the person who always throws me off guard is Kathy Griffin. Okay. Because she is just like, she, you know, why does Kathy Griffin give a fuck about me? And whenever she's hitting me up, like, saw your new video, it was so hilarious. I'm like, okay, well, when I was 10, I was watching your comedy specials. Why the fuck are you hitting me up, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's, she's one of those ones that, like, throws me off really hard and is one of the most random. Um, but I don't know. That's pretty random. I, I don't yeah. know. Well, but you mentioned Billie Eilish, so there's another one that's... Yeah, that's but that's, that's more expected, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. I... I don't even know. I yeah. have to think about it. Okay. That's a hard okay. question. No, I, they gave me butterflies. There's so many <laughs> things. There's so many people in that phone. Yeah. That's, that's why she's sitting on it. But you know what's funny is that I actually looked at my phone, saw a notification, and it was just like, and I, ooh. <laughs> Anywho. That's another rapper. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, person. Yeah. Um, okay. At Blonde Shell says, she loves you. That's oh not a question. God. All right, that's a you. statement. I love Thanks, you. Thanks, Blonde Me and my um, live streams. All right, and then, yeah, with the last question, what's the best part, or what's the best part and worst part about being an Instagram celebrity? Oh, my influencer? God, I finally made it. I'm an Instagram celebrity, <laughs> yeah. everybody. I face-tuned just enough to be there. Um, Let's start with the uh, the best part. What's, the, what's just the perk you're like, fuck yeah. Oh, um, honestly, a fun perk for me is getting to DM any company I want about anything. I DM'd Hot Cheetos the other day, and they responded, and they are sending me Hot Cheetos. So getting to use my my Instagram platform to reach out to people for dumbass shit that I shouldn't get for free is always really fun. Um, or DM anyone, just, you know, hey, let's see who I can flirt with or whatever, <laughs> um, is really fun. Also getting to, you know, like, curate and make content and put it out to people who fuck with it is crazy crazy to me mm -hmm. that I could Instagram anything and in one minute there's thousands of people being like yes queen it's like a photo of me on the toilet like mm -hmm. you know people are awesome um, and the worst part ah wow I don't know I'm just so positive everybody yeah, no um, physically can't push it out I don't I, th there's not a terrible part I signed up for this shit I'll what fucking a, I really it, chose the wrong like what a down to end that on no <laughs> no I don't I really know. messed that up <laughs> you know I mean obviously sometimes I guess you can always let the negativity get in your head but mm -hmm. I always try to look at the love that outweighs it and remember that people commenting through a screen do not define you mm -hmm. no matter what and yeah I don't great know. Well, that was a test question I'm sure bitches fast. I hate have Instagrams you know I don't like those no yeah, right. really <laughs> good. yes All we right. slayed that and we crushed that 
What's up guys? If you liked what you saw, make sure you check out our other videos right here and also subscribe to the Herdwell channel right here for new interviews coming out every week.